Tonight on Creature Features, five chilling stories in Tales from the Crypt. Vince questions celebrity guest Kathy Coleman about dinosaurs. And Tangella makes a new friend. All this and more tonight on Creature Features. sends Marshal Will and Holly on a routine expedition to meet the greatest earthquake they have ever known. High on the rapids, it struck their tiny raft and plunged them down a thousand feet below to the land of the lost. What's this then? A note from management. I haven't my spectacles. Read it to me. Mr. Vincent, tonight's film runs long. Please try to keep your introduction brief. Brief? Brief. Fine. I'm Vincent, that's Livingston, this is Tangella, and tonight's guest is Kathy Coleman from Land of the Lost. The movie shall be Tales from the Crypt from 1972. Ta-ta! Brief. Keep it brief. I don't do... Verdammt nochmal. On the cover of TV Guide. Mm -hmm. TV, TV Guide, guide. gonna my get my picture on the cover. cover. Gonna buy five <laughs> copies for my mother. And then, I don't know. Were you ever on the cover of TV Guide? No, not the cover. Just but on the inside. inside. And we had the... photos in there, too. And photos. They yeah. probably did a special spread. Well, they had like a Saturday morning lineup. Right. And then there was our picture in there. Oh, of course. That's and you, cool. You were like at the head of the photo scene. Because it's Kathy Coleman. It's We've got Kathy cool. Coleman again. Do you know, this is really weird. This last year has been super busy for us. Right. We've been everywhere. 
when I go to these different shows, some you have to rotate them on a like a schedule. Of so course. I don't see maybe one particular show for two years or three years. But each one is like a family. And this here is like a family to me. All show. Well, yes. And, yes. And, and behind the cameras, in front of the cameras, on, on the set, everything, right. you guys are like a family to me. But when the families collide, it's a very weird thing. I will so, be in another state on the other side of the country, and people come up to the table and say, I saw you on Creature Features. Oh, and it's good. like, what? You know? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's and I'm not kidding you. I have heard it, I would say, in the course of last year, at least 20 times. Well, you know, I've had the same experience in reverse. I've had people come up to me and say, oh, I like your performance on Land of the Lost. I'm here, what are you talking about? You say, you're the little monkey boy, would you not? I mean, no, I'm not Chaka. So I think your experience is a bit better than mine. So they watch Creature Features, they yeah. see you on there. Yeah. But they already know cool. who you are. No, but it, it's like I said, it's, it's weird. Like there's families I have all over the country and then when they you know interact together one oh, person nice. brings me back to the feeling of being here you right. know it's just it's right. just interesting How wonderful so yes you have been quite busy you know i've rang you more than once and it's like oh i'm in atlanta georgia i'm doing a show i cannot talk by well, i'm not quite like that no you're not but she's she's wonderful uh, on the phone with me but we talked for a long time on the phone, actually. You we and do. I. No, we chat. We yes, chat we about do. Things. So she tells me everything about Palm Springs. <laughs> you almost got... You know more about Palm Springs than I do because no, I'm new there. I don't I'm know new. more than you, but I know much more now that you live there because you've told me so much. But last time we chatted, you were telling me about a storm coming. There wasn't like a tornado. Or something. We had a like, tropical storm. Right. And in there Palm hadn't Springs. been one there in like a hundred years or something. Right. Now, if you don't know where Palm Springs is, it's in Southern California. It's like five miles from the sun, is it not? <laughs> right? It hey, feels a like A tropical it. storm. It feels like it. In this <laughs> desert where nothing lives, right? No, Except, nothing. Right. It's, it's all de desert. Out there. All right. Well, we need to start this film, Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, you know this one, yeah, right? Yeah, on. I love it. You've I seen it, it before. Yes, a hundred yes. times. Yes. So we're going to do a <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. We're going to chat with Kathy, and uh, we're just going to have lots of fun, right? Yes, of course. Like always. Like always. All right. Off we go, Tales from the Crypt. We shall see you after the break.
stay as close as you can, please. In the reign of Henry VIII, when the monasteries in England were dissolved and the occupants tortured, beheaded in public or murdered secretly, some went into hiding to worship as they pleased. It is the decaying bodies and skeletons of these religious martyrs that you will see on your tour. These catacombs are dangerous and I must warn you to stay with me and not lose your way. Please keep close together. My brooch. Hmm? I must have dropped it somewhere. <sighs> Thank you. Well, which way shall we go? Well, it's a toss-up. Let's try this way. Yes. Well, there's no way out of here. Let's go back. There's no way out there. Who are you? Where did you come from? All in good time. Look, how do we get out of here? All in good time. I'm in a hurry. It can wait. Well, I really can't wait. I have an appointment. Sit. All of you, please sit down. Sit down. I assure you, I have a purpose. What purpose? Why did you come in here? I don't know. I was just driving by and... Something made me. And what are your plans when you leave here? Plans? Plans.
Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition. It meant the greatest earthquake ever found. Can you believe that? High on the rapids. Yeah. Sunk their tiny raft. That's right. And plunged them down a thousand feet. That's right. That's it? A thousand? You know, to go to the land of the lost. I, I jumped off a 60 foot bridge one time. You and actually did, or yes, in the did. show you did? No, I actually did it up in Kern River. But a thousand feet is, is a good drop. It is a good drop, but not <laughs> yeah. enough to go back in time to the dinosaurs. Well, how, how far do they drill down for oil? Is it more than a thousand miles, feet? Miles, it seems. It is miles? Yes. Okay, no, well then I don't know. No, right. Anyway, so enough about that. Let's talk about the film. Joan Collins, who was in the first segment we saw, Christmas Lady, she uh, is uh, incredible, but she only had 15 lines in this whole film. And she's one of the top stars. But did she, did she not have a very large part in Star Trek? She was on probably the most famous... The most famous episode, but episode, just was it right. a, a huge part? Yes. Okay. Yes. Was she like Captain but, Kirk's girlfriend or something? No, she played, she played um, a woman who was back in the 30s or 20s. City on the Edge of Forever. City on the Edge of Forever, our director Tom says. And um, no, no, and that, 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 was, that was a very famous episode, but I don't think it shot her to fame like Dynasty did. She shows up every year. I do the Star Trek convention because right. our writers are the same writers that wrote Star Trek, Land of the Lost, right? Joan Collins goes to the same shows as you. Yeah, and so anyway, there's a door that, that all the big celebrities go through out back. And I go out there once in a while because I just, it's in Vegas and the, the convention center's freezing cold. And sometimes right. I just have to go out there to heat up. So I go out there and I wound up hanging out with her boyfriend out there. Oh, her boyfriend? Yeah, he's a, he's a, I think he's younger than she is, but he's a real sophisticated looking kind of guy. So he probably acts as her handler. I would think so. Right. All right, what do you say we get back to this film? And then uh, we're going to do a letter segment. And then when we come back, we're going to talk some more about Land of the Lost. Okay. All right. Sounds off. good. Sounds like a plan. It is a plan. Off we go to Tales from the Crypt. Don't you dare go away because things get funner and funner and funner around here. See you soon. To Joanne, the best wife in the world. Love from Richard. And a big kiss.
darling. Mommy will be right up. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. A man described as a homicidal maniac has escaped from the hospital for the criminally insane. He is six foot three inches tall, 210 pounds, dark eyes, bald, and may be wearing a Santa Claus costume taken from a shop in Burley. All residents of the county are warned to be on the lookout for this man and to phone the police if they see him. We now continue our program of carols for Christmas Eve.
Hadn't you? And you? I'm on my way home to see my wife and children. And then? Hmm? And then? And then? This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Livingston, take a look at this advertisement. It's for Smith Corona typewriters and it says instead of giving your teenager another sermon on sloppy handwriting give him or her a smith corona mm. wouldn't that be nice to have tangela actually make legible writing no. she 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 writes like a doctor right no i bet doctors cannot understand her writing i don't think it's english actually no, it's English. It's just lots of four-letter words. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the show. Kathy stepped away for just a moment while we do some mail because uh, Livingston showed up with a whole stack of mail and gave her a look saying, we've got business to do. Did you not? We do. Right. What do you got? Uh, Elena Canute. Elena Canute. And she actually phonetically spe spelt it out, Canute. Nice. I think that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, Lebanese, is it not? No. No. All right. Uh, let's see. She goes. I am so very happy. I found your program, Creature Features, on YouTube. I watched as a child, and I loved it. All of you do a great job, and I will be watching all the episodes of Creature Features. 
My son loves the program as well. Thank you, Vince Van Dahl, Sir Livingston, Tangella, and all the behind-the-scenes staff. You know, all, all staff behind the scenes are often behind, are they not? Behind what? Behind schedule. Well done. Right, right. Anyways, thanks for uh, writing, Elena. What's next, Mr. Livingston? Timothy Crowley from Anaheim, California. Mr. Crowley? Mr. Crowley. I wonder if he's related to Alistair. That's what I mean. That's who the song was about. Ozzy wrote a song about Alistair Crowley. Who did? Ozzy Osbourne. Oh. It's called Mr. Crowley. Indeed. This is not the same. He, he was not named Timothy, though. This is He's from Anaheim. He goes, uh, Dear Vince Livingston and Tangella, I'm a new fan of your show who found your channel on YouTube. I work graveyard shifts. You know, I wonder if he actually works in the graveyard. How appropriate. Right. During the graveyard shift. And without your shows, the nights would be depressing. I bet your Halloween episode is going to be entertaining. Oh, this must be an old note. This right. slip by us. Or maybe he's talking about next Halloween, right? Perhaps. It could be. He's early. I learned about Bodega Bay as well for the first time, and it looks like a very nice and peaceful part of California. I hope that you and Tangelo will get more views and keep the show going. Well, you know, they come to watch her. They don't come to watch me. They're like, oh, less of him, more of her. Yeah, I can see why. Well, I, and I can see why as well. But, you know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like the informative one and she's like the destructive one. So that's that. Anyways, uh, thanks for writing, Timothy. And we, uh, we hope uh, you're not related to the other Mr. Crowley. But y'all, that's all right. Next stop, sir. It's one from Stratford, Connecticut. Stratford, Connecticut. Not to be confused with Stratford on Avon. Where? In England. Shakespeare. Oh, that's Hello Stratford. Theater. Uh, no, I thought you said Tenenbaum or something like that. I just simply did not understand what you said. All right. This is from John Benvenuto. 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 Is that the greeting, part? actually. Right. But what is that uh, Spanish? Italian. Italian. Right. Sounds right. Tangela, I just discovered the show through YouTube. I just roar when I see all the funny things you do on the show. Yeah, we roar as well, sir. Mm. The movies are great. So many I remember from my childhood. How did you get your start on the show? Have you ever done anything else besides the show? And are you from the area? You make the show and wonderful to see you. Keep that beautiful smile going and be blessed and safe. Can I get a signed picture of you? She's so mean. No, she just was fully... Fully doused in compliments. And look, she shakes her head now. I shall make sure you get a signed photo, provided you gave us your address, which you did. Um, so how did she get her start? Uh, she never really started. She's just... You're just she's, here. No, she's the, the nuisance of the program. She's just herself. So there's no acting, right? No. There's no skill involved. She just basically does... Well, you, you just act like yourself. It requires no extra effort nor anything. And look, people send her things like this for making faces like that. Which is not very on a helpful. Show like this. No, no, she's she's good. People like watching her, so she's doing something right. But uh, no, she's had no formal training for this, right? I hope not. No, yeah, no. Because if there were if there was a place that formally trained people to be like Tangela, I think it would be like on a terrorist watch list, would it not? She is. Yes. Next up, Mr. Livingston. This is from Rancho Mirage, California. That's a nice place. You know, they make uh, fighter pilots there. Fighter pilots? Fighter pilots, right. Rancho Mirage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I know this person. Look at this. This is uh, Janice Blythe. She she was she was in uh, that, uh, that film, uh, what's it called? Uh, what was the film she was in? The Hills Have Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes, right? And uh, she goes to Vincent and Tangella, eight ball corner pocket. That was a quote from the film, I think. Oh. Yeah. That's so nice. Thank you so much, Janice. And uh, she's got a store. Where is this? Um, anyway, you could, you could get these at her store. You'd probably have to Google it because I cannot uh, read this tiny type on the bottom. Or but on uh, the envelope. No, I shall place this in a uh, place of honor, young lady. Next up, last one, one. Jim Biederman from Weed, California. Weed, California? There is such a place. 
Weed. And his name is Biederman. Jim Biederman from Weed, California. That's a tongue twister. All right. Dear people at Creature Features, I got to tell you, I'm a bit mixed up about your show with the horror movies and that Tangella lady. She is that Tangella lady, is she not? First thing, why is your show on so late, like at 9 p.m. on Saturday? That's when I usually count my socks. Do you count your socks? Well, uh, you have to, around here. Can't you put it on when there's nothing else to do? And Tangella, she's always creeping around and stuff. It's weird. Can't she do something normal like play checkers or something? I don't get why she's always so spooky. Also, the movies on your show are super scary. I thought they'd be like cartoon ghosts, not the real spooky kind. Maybe show something less scary like videos about bunnies or something. That's more my speed. Yeah, I, I think this bloke's tuned into the wrong show. I think you might be right. Yeah, I, I don't know what he expects from us. Oh, and the loud noises in your show make me jump. How about using quieter sounds like maybe a cat purring? That'd be nicer to hear. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. Hope you make your show easier to understand for folks like me. Thanks, Jim Biederman, Weed, California. You know, I, I, I know what Jim does in Weed, California. You do? It's, it's all in the name of where he lives, I think. Uh, I could be wrong. Who knows? Apologies in advance. All right, that's it. That's it. That is it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own, visit this little website called Hello Creature Features, and it'll tell you how you could send us an autograph photo from your favorite movie. It could show you how to send us an email, or if you would like to send a large bucket of product from a city in California, Maybe not. Let's forget about that last one. But if you want to do the other two, by all means, you'll find it at hellocreaturefeatures.com. We'll be right back with Kathy Coleman. But first, let's get back to Tales from the Crypt. I'm all set. Must you go tonight, Carl? Can't you leave it till the morning? No, I'm afraid I can't. My appointment's in the morning. I'll have to drive all night to make it. When will you be back? I, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how it works out. I'll, um, I'll phone you. Did you say goodnight to the kids? No, I was just going to. Good night, Daddy. Goodbye, darling. Don't forget to ring me when you get there. I will. Goodbye, darling. Bye. Drive carefully. Yes, right.
The removal men came this morning. Yeah, well, so I see. Should all be there by the time we get there. Yeah. Shame to give up a nice flat like this. Yes, I know that, darling. But we've both had to give up quite a bit, haven't we? I love you, Susan. You know that, don't you? Yes. Of course I do. You meet someone and suddenly that's it. I kiss my kids tonight and... Oh, for hell's sake. I mean, it will be worth it, won't it, for both of us? Of course it will. You are tired. Let me drive. Yeah, okay. Sorry, bad dream. Darling.
What's the matter? Then? Look, pull yourself together. What's the matter? Come on now. Carl. Carl? It ca can't be. Can't be? What do you mean? Carl was... Where have you been? Please go away. Look, I've been worried out of my mind. What's happened? The furniture. I don't understand. How did... I brought it back after the crash huh? and I was blinded. Blinded? And Carl was killed. K huh? Two years ago. Ah! I'm sorry. Bad dream. So that is why you were in a hurry? To leave your wife and children? What do you mean? How do you... What sort of game are you playing? Game? You're trying to frighten us in some way. What do you want? To show you something. Something in your own mind. Something you are capable of doing. I don't want to know. Oh, but you must know. You must. Hello, friends. Tangella and I would like to take a moment to compel you to join Creature Features TV. It is our new streaming service that offers you early access to Creature Features from your computer or your favorite set-top device. You can see the full archive of Creature Feature episodes, movies we've yet to present on the show, a library of items from the original program, plus many other items you won't find anywhere else. Your small yet generous subscription fee not only supports the operation of the service, but actually helps finance the creation of our show. It's a very inexpensive way to ensure that we'll be able to continue producing creature features for years to come. Not to mention it'll keep Tangela out of making mischief and wreaking havoc in the village as well. So please visit CreatureFeaturesTV.com to learn more. And thank you so much for your support. You, oh, you do cause trouble. Kathy Coleman, famous yes. dinosaur wrangler. Why can I never get my hair to look as nice as yours? <laughs> I think it's that brand of shampoo you use, right? I don't know. I like your hair. No. That's what my hair looks like when I wake up in the morning. Oh, see? No, I've got the the the, the bedhead, right? Yeah. There was, there was a line of products called bedhead, wasn't it? Yeah, not? but people pay big money to get their hair to look like that. Oh, all right. Well, I'll do it for free because it just comes out of my head naturally. Welcome back. We are watching Tales from the Crypt with the wonderful Kathy Coleman. And um, so this film, do you know that it won the, the best 
uh, Fantasy Film Award in 1973. That I did not know. No, no neither no. did I. I didn't e even know this this <laughs> Fantasy Award UK existed. thing existed. So it's it's double news for me. But uh, I, you know, I, I I don't see why not. It's 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 a well made film, right? It's terrific compared to most of the tripe we serve on this program. And it I, is a, it is falls into the fantasy. It could be a fantasy, but uh, no, it, it'd be a horrible fantasy, would it not? It would. So, Wesley, how is my friend Wesley? Wesley's doing great. Your partner in crime yep. in the land of the lost. Yep, we've been doing a lot of shows together, and then every time uh, in, in October, he takes off for Puerto Vallarta, so he goes for six months. Because he has a home down there. Yeah, right? and he just does something exciting and new and adventurous there every day. How fun. Yeah, he has a ball down there. Right. So, And I go every year, and he wants me to come this coming year, and I am on the fence about it. I don't know if Why? I'm going to go. Because I've done it every year, and I just don't know if oh. I want to do that or do something different this year. And he's he's hurt by that. He thinks that he's done something wrong. You cannot wrong, hurt I, Wesley. I can't. I keep telling him it's it has nothing to do with that. It's just yeah. I just don't know. But, but I have a lot of friends. I have a down. plan. I have a plan. All right, you, viewers out there on YouTube. <laughs> no, 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 no. Should Holly Kathy Coleman go to Puerto Vallarta? Say so in the comments, or if she should do something else, say so. And we'll do and this. In the middle of the rotors, I only go for one week, not two weeks. All right. So, <laughs> democratically, we shall decide okay. whether you should go or not. All right. We're going to get back to this film. And then uh, when we come back, we're going to chat some more, right? Okay. Sounds All right. good. Off we go. Tales from the Crypt. See you soon. Something. My wife's name is Helen, Mary Helen Grimstein. I always call her Helen. It's a nice name, isn't it? <laughs> bye bye then. Come on, Mark. Come on, Julie. Come sit here. Bye bye, Mark. Bye bye, Julie. Bye. <laughs> Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. That's it. <laughs> you think you could do that? What are you looking at? Grim's dyke, of course. His usual shell out to the kids. He does it every year on his birthday. I don't know how you stand it. Stand what? Living across the road from that man. He's a rubbish collector, a dustman. Places an eyesore. The toys he gives those kids, he finds in the rubbish heap and repairs. Why doesn't he sell out? I've made him offers. He's, he's sentimental about that old dump. Says he and his wife have lived there for their whole married life, and now he wants to die there. Just as she did. Well, it ruins the neighborhood and depreciates the value of our property. The inside must be like a pigsty. He owns the place free and clear. There's nothing we can do about it. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Shut the gate. Bye bye. Isn't there?
What on earth have you been doing? Somebody just made an awful mess of Mr. Baker's garden. Poor Grimsdyke's neighbour. He was so proud of his prize roses. My prize roses. Years of hard work. It's Grimsdyke's dogs for sure. This is too much. I'd like to make an official complaint. Uh, but you mustn't take them away. They're, they're my friends. Sergeant, please. It's a court order and they don't have licenses. Oh, I couldn't afford I licenses. Sergeant, please. Darling? Are you there, darling? Are you there, darling? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is there any anything you wish to tell me? Think it over, Councillor Ramsay. Grimsdyke's due to retire in two years. He's done his job well. There's no reason why the town council He's too should... old. Don't you think a younger man? He'd lose his retirement pay. And save the town some money. I do believe he's out of a job. Hmm. Oh. Flies a little wilted, aren't they, my dear? God bless you. Plenty more in the garden. I'll get you some tomorrow. Money now, hadn't we? <laughs> hey, look, Helen, look who's come back, our little Jamie. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. You're our only friend, huh? You and the children. We thought it might be neighbourly to, to let you know what was going on. It's very kind of you to draw our attention to this, Mr. Elliot. It's so difficult to know what one's children get up to when they're out of one's sight. After all, last year I remember... You can tell from looking at his house what a filthy old man he is. Constantly filling it with children. <laughs> Heaven knows what his motivations are. Now, don't forget what I said. Just stay away from him. But, Mummy, he's such a nice old man. Don't argue with me. You're not to see him again, ever. Why don't you go and play in our garden? And don't take any more sweets from him. Carrying rubbish all day? 
The house must be filthy. You and your Mr. Grimsdyke. Now remember, I don't want you to go anywhere near him. Oh, Mom. And that's final. I don't understand it. If your mama's so kind. Now this. No work. No children. No one to make toys for. Never mind. We've always got each other, haven't we, my dear? Mm. It's all that matters. Just one more turn of the screw. And he'll sell his property for next to nothing. What's on your mind? Valentine's Day. It's just two weeks away. So? We'll send him Valentine's. From everyone in town. Hi, this is Ellen from Texas. I really enjoy your show. And could you please play My Bloody Valentine from 1980? Thank you, and thank you for all the great movies. Bye. Ever watch Hawaii Five O? The new one? No, the, the old, old one. one. Well, I with I, Jack I did an album. Ward, whatever. I did name. an album years and years ago at a film or a a recording studio right next to Nicodell's. It was a it was on Hollywood Boulevard, and he came in, and my mom like went bullet. I didn't know who he was, but my right. mom went crazy because she saw him. She was she starstruck. Few, oh yeah, big time. With but, Hawaii Five-O. But I didn't even know really who he was. Well, you're too young, right? Yeah. You were just a, a wee lass. Yeah, I was only yeah. like 10 or something. Right. But Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, you're ridiculously late, but we'll forgive you this time, right? Sure, just this what time. the heck? Just this time. <laughs> we are with the wonderful Kathy Coleman, who portrayed Holly on Land of the Lost, and it's been how many years now? Well, this coming year, it's going to be 50 years 50 Since we years ended the show it seems like it was yesterday started the show i should say right, right. i know I, I don't i can't believe i'm old enough to know anything 50 years ago <laughs> no it's, i'm the same way I know. So, but the years fly by they but this do. film is older than your what, what year yes it was 1974 right yeah 74. this film came out in 72. 1972 right and do you know that they uh wanted to uh redo this with uh who wanted to redo this film Stephen King and George Romero and George Romero wanted to do redo this film, and they instead decided to do Creep Show instead. Mm. I think you should have done this one, but then again, you know, sometimes when they redo something like Land of the Lost, it's never as good yeah, as the original, bad, is it? That's a bad idea. No, it's a that's terrible a bad idea. idea. Now we won't talk about that. Anyways, back to your shows. So you've you've you do shows all over the country. What's the most interesting guest you've ever been sat next to? We've sat with everybody. I know, I mean, but who's the most interesting? Well, the Hulk is always pretty interesting. I've met him. Yeah, he's he's fun. Right. And we've had like everybody um, sat next to us. And the, one of the funnest things that we do, and, and we actually one time brought it to this house, was the raft. Of course. And the raft now has become a thing where not only do the regular people that come to the show want to get in it and do photo ops, but the celebrities now want oh, to get in course. it. So we have had every celebrity that shows up at one of the conventions, they get in our raft. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, it's fabulous. And then at the end, we round up everybody. We need to everybody. create an album, no, uh, a book. 
But we have like a lot of the photos. Right. Now create them. a book where you one can go and look and order this <laughs> book. Ride the raft. All these celebrities. And yeah. That's a great idea. All these people that have been uh, on right. routine Let's expedition. Get back to this film. And uh, when we come back, we're going to find out uh, what you're up to next, right? Okay. Sounds good. All right. Off we go to Tales from the Crypt. We will see you soon. Lots of mail for you today, Mr. Kimstack. Oh, funny. Thank you very much. Oh, oh very kind. My dear. Oh, it is not even Christmas, is it? Not that it makes any difference if it is or not. I wouldn't be writing it for it. Let's see how. It's a Valentine card. If you're my only sweetheart, what will this be? Noisier children, loud as a bell, punch at his perfume, but you only smell. Hmm? Noisier children, loud as a bell, punch at his perfume, but you only smell. I don't think I like that. Let's see what we have here. A tree is beautiful if its owner prunes it, but our town isn't because your presence. Oh. Some people live in the country, some people live in the town. Why don't you do us a service? Jump in the river. What's Dyke been doing to that mongrel? He hasn't stopped whining for a week. You know, come to think of it, I haven't seen Grimsdyke for days. Not since Valentine's Day. I can't be far away if the door's open. This place is spotless. I thought it'd be filthy. righteousness upon his children's children, forasmuch as it hath pleased almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother, Arthur Edward Grimsdyke, here departed. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. It was kind of you to pay for the burial. It was the least I could do. He was a neighbor. What's that? Valentine's cards. The ones left over from last year. When... 
She must be a year ago. Today. St. Valentine's Day, February the 14th. A year ago exactly. Going to bed. See you in the morning. You were mean and cruel right from the start. Now you really have no... What am I doing here? You'll see. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Wow, that is such 
a cute little dinosaur. You know, I have a little boy that I know that would absolutely love to have that. Weird. Well, that's it, Ralph, I'm afraid. It's all gone. Everything. More than everything. You have debts. I did warn you, didn't I, not to use money that had been entrusted to you. The risks were far too great. Risks? The gains could have been enormous. What do I do now? Well, you have two choices. First, bankruptcy. And according to you, that would be dishonorable, wouldn't it? Oh, come on, let's face it. You've done dishonorable things in your life before, in your business life. Hard, ruthless, and perhaps even cruel. Yes, to build up the Jason Empire, sometimes I had to be. No one has to be. I did. Oh, it's easy to talk. But I had to fight my way up the hard way. If people got hurt, they got hurt. But I always paid my debts. No, I'm not going into bankruptcy. Well, if you intend to try and pay off your debts, you'll have to start selling things. Things of value. Properties, your paintings, everything. My house. All the beautiful things I've acquired during the years. It's the only way. I won't do it. I'm afraid you'll have to. So there's nothing else for it. We have to sell them. Oh, I know it's a blow. Our whole life's in them. Everything we've collected all over the world. Remember that one? We got it in that strange shop in Hong Kong when you were selling guns to. Do you remember what the little man in the shop said to us when he sold it to us? Yes. Use it. Use it wisely. I wonder what he meant by that. Ralph. Have you have you ever seen this writing that's inscribed on the bottom of this statuette? Writing? Yes, here at the base. Three wishes I give and no more to each owner of me. So keep score. Each wish will come true. So take care what you do. I can't read the rest, but the last word is Deplore. What does it all mean? Use it wisely. If only it could give us three wishes. That storybook nonsense. It reminds me of a tale I once read. What was it? We could pay all our debts. The monkey's paw. That's what it was. I wish. I read it when I was at school. I wish for lots and lots of money. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Too late. I already have. And I've just remembered what happened at the end of the story. You said yourself it was just a story. Like our three wishes. Hello. Oh, hello, Charles. I'd like you to come down to my office. Right now? Yes, straight away. What's it all about? It's very important. It's about money. I'd like you to come straight away. I'll be right there. That's Charles. He wants me to go and see him right away. He said something about money. Money? Maybe our wish will come true after all.
Yes, yes, speaking. I'm sorry to tell you, sir, but your client, Ralph Jason, has been killed in a car crash. In his car? Yes, on a road about ten miles from his home. Well, uh, have you told Enid, M Mrs. Jason, yet? No, not yet. We found some letters from you in his pocket. They indicate that you're not only his solicitor, but a close friend of the family. We thought it better that you bring the news. Yes, yes. Yes, of course. Leave it to me. I'll tell her. Ralph? Dead? They found him in the wreckage of his car. He'd obviously lost control. Skidded. <laughs> Enid, this may not be the best moment to talk about this, but uh, it may alleviate some of your other worries. You realize this accident makes you a rich woman. Rich? Ralph's insurance. He always carried a large policy with a double indemnity against accident. Oh, Charles, I, I wished for lots and lots of money. Ralph warned me not to. No, that's a coincidence. No, it's sure. no coincidence. That statuette. It gave us three wishes. I used one of them to wish for lots and lots of money. Now, I'm going to wish for Ralph back. Do you know the story of the monkey's paw? That's the story of the old couple who are given a monkey's paw, which entitles them to three wishes. They wish for money. And they get the money because their son is killed in a machine in his factory, crushed, in it. You mustn't wish Ralph back. Why not? Well, in the story, this mother wishes her son back, and he does come back, but in the condition in which he died, mutilated, mangled, torn. Careful not to make the same mistake. I shall wish that Ralph were back as he was before the accident. I wish that Ralph were back exactly as he was immediately before the accident. No, no, don't look. His body was mangled in the crash. Mangled? It wasn't mangled. Mr. Jason died of a heart attack at the wheel. I wish to bring him back as he was immediately before the accident. But he was already dead. Dead from a heart attack, so the accident didn't kill him. Only 
one more wish. In it. Please go please. away. Leave me alone. I want to be alone with him, please. Only one more wish. Only one. I mustn't waste it. I must be careful. Please, please. I wish Ralph were alive now. I don't want him to die ever. I want him moving, breathing, talking, alive. Now, forever. What's happened? What have you done? I wished him alive again forever. But don't you realize he's been embalmed? His brains are filled with embalming fluid burning into him. Oh, no. Oh, I need to do something. forever. You can't kill him. Every piece of him is alive still. Alive and suffering. What did he see? What's more important is what you will see. Well, who are you? Well, what do you want with us? To warn you of what may happen. I don't care about your warnings. I want to get out of here. Very well. But you should heed the warning. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com The official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features. We're watching Tales from the Crypt with Kathy Coleman, who's 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 like a professional dinosaur wrangler. And um, you used to stab a Tyrannosaurus Rex with a giant stick. But we called it the uh, fly fly swatter. That's the what we fly swatter. Fly swatter. Right now. So <laughs> that actual prop did it weigh anything? Did it have any actual weight? Yeah. It did. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a, a the weight of a tree or anything, right. but it, it it was, you know, it was hefty. Yeah. And so you would be on the set, and you would be going towards what? A man waving. I'm the dinosaur. <laughs> no, no. There's a piece of um, like just uh, what do you call it? Um, drywall that's painted baby blue. Oh, like the sky, you know. Right. But yeah, that's there was what nothing they put there because the they're it. filming us coming at, and you know, the camera right. basically. Right. They're not. There's nothing there. So you're going for the camera with the stick, almost, yeah. right? Yeah. But I mean, in the back of the cave, there's just like a blue piece of right. drywall or something. Right. That's a chroma key, is what I'm told. Well, chroma key is what we worked on when we were it, like it's it's the equivalent to a green screen. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. And what I learned, and I've learned quite a bit since doing the show. So if you do like outside stuff, you need to use the blue screen because you might have like vegetation that's green, which would disappear if you right. use a green screen. Right. Whereas if you do an inside thing, 
then I, you, you know what I, I never even thought about it like right. that but yeah i yeah. wonder if that's that is exactly why we used a that's, blue screen that's why there's the two different colors yeah. it's a, and the dinosaurs are green of course so <laughs> some of them right, right. yeah no yeah, no. Uh, no the one you wrote on was gray was gray yeah oh he was great what's he, was he called baby, squeaky dopey and dopey. he was a baby brontosaurus Baby Brontosaurus. He was my pet. You have a little saddle made for him, did you not? No, I ride him, but we had a harness that he had because oh, he pulled a cart because we used right. to go get strawberries. and he The giant course. strawberry. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think they should have given you a giant strawberry as like a, a parting gift, you know, a prop from the show. Well, I do have, and I bring it to the conventions with me, I have because we had a hand puppet of Dopey and a hand puppet of Grumpy for close-ups. Right. And I had a friend make me the Dopey one, and I bring that to the show. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for just, like, silly photos. No, yeah. yeah, well, it's wonderful to have an actual People problem. love it. They, they love right. stuff like that. All right, what do you say we wrap up this film, and then when we come back, we're going to find out what you do next. Okay. All right, off we go. Tales from the Crypt. We'll see you soon. Rogers? Major Rogers. You might show me to my quarters and have something up my kit in, will you? Shane, here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, goodbye. There were pictures on the wall. Where they got? Personal property of your predecessor, sir. Well, you must get some more. I'll go down to London and have a look around the galleries. Where are the men? Uh, the patients. They've gone to lunch, sir. You mean dinner, sir, John? Bon appetit, Mr. Carter. Thank you, Harry. Good morning. My name is Rogers, Major William Rogers. I've been appointed your new superintendent here and take up my duties today. I've had considerable experience in dealing with men as an officer in the army. I promise you I will do this job to the best of my ability. I hope we'll all get along well. If there are any complaints, I shall be pleased to deal with them in my office at any time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, Shane, after I made a few changes, I think we're going to like it here.
Yes? The men have asked me to come and talk to you. Yes? It's about the heating. It's been very cold these past few nights. We wondered if... For reasons of economy, the heating is now turned off each evening at 20 hundred hours. We'll all be in bed by then. After all, there's no point in staying up. You can't see anything. The beds are cold. There aren't enough blankets. I'm trying to run this place as efficiently and as economically as I can. I'm afraid the current budget does not include the cost of new blankets. Do you know anything about blind people? No, I can't say I do until I took over this job. But I was in the army for over 20 years and I learned to handle all kinds of men there. With all due respect, sir, we are not soldiers. And blind people are not like people with sight. We have lost one sense, but the loss of that one sense only tends to sharpen the other. Do you know what that means? We feel things more acutely. If food is bad, it tastes worse to us. If a room is dirty, we feel every speck. If an insect scurries across the floor, we hear it. And if it's cold, we feel the cold more. Why don't you sell that painting and buy us fuel or extra blankets? I was not aware that the administration of expenditure for this establishment has been handed over to you, Mr. Carter. Good morning. Dishwater. Filthy buck. No meat in it. Sorry, Dad, there ain't no more. No second helping? Well, rations were cut, you see. Superintendent says he's doing the best he can with prices so high. It's customary to knock on the door of a private office. What do you want? Can't you see I'm having my lunch? What is it? Nice juicy steak. Well, we get nothing but slop. Well, I do the best I can for you, within the limits of the budget provided for me. But you eat meat and drink wine? I am the officer in charge. This isn't the bloody army. Mr. Carter, in the kingdom of the blind, even the one-eyed man is king. Realize it's gone midnight. Doctor. Who wants a doctor? It's Greenwood, sir. 
Well, can't it wait till the morning? He's ill, sir. Very ill. Well, I suppose I'd better take a look. Shane, wait. Blanket. Which one is Greenwood? The man is dead.
Okay. Shane. Shane? What the hell do you think you're doing? Go back to your rooms, all of you. It's our turn to give the orders now. Major Rogers. Sir. Well, what, what, what is it? What, 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 what do you want? my dog. Seems to be getting hungry, Major Rogers. Oh, feed him, please. Please feed him. All in good time. Yes, but you must feed him. He, he, he'll be dangerous. He'll, he'll go wild. Berserk. I know, Major Rogers. Oh! <laughs> 
What are you doing, Arthur? You'll see soon enough. to eat. Please, please. I haven't had any to eat or drink for over two days. Please, please. Well, at least feed my dog, please. He'll be fed all right. Major Rogers. What is all this? I'm on my way to a new job. 
I don't know why I stopped here. I do. Now you may go. See, I wasn't warning you, but telling you why you are here for all eternity. next it might be you but it's more likely to be her she she makes trouble now i could see i could see a crypt keeper sending her off to that other place maybe anyways uh nice movie uh, it's okay it's still good right after seeing it for the umpteenth time oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah it's a classic no no we'll show it again in two years but uh <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's something that if we show it one year apart, it does not do well. And if we show it three years apart, it does not do well. But if we go almost exactly two years. You have to give it years, a breather. That's it. It's like a fine wine. Yes. Exactly. What's next for Kathy Coleman? Just a chock-a-block of shows coming up because, uh, like I said earlier, it's our 50th. So Right. No, you're yeah. all over the country. So yeah. people could come meet you. They could come. Oh, yeah, and they do by the thousands. They could come sit in the boat. They could come yep. buy photos. They yep. could have you sign your tome and they're doing tar they're doing targeted advertising for us so now people are knowing that we're going to be at these shows and they're bringing all their stuff for us to sign so smart move. yeah it's right, very smart right. now ebay sellers i bet no I've people been... like god i wish i would have known you were here and i brought my game or my lunchbox or all something right. but now no. they are so. they could find out how by going to your to my, facebook either right? my facebook page kathy coleman or wesley's wesley York. so go on facebook and look up kathy coleman or wesley York. we let you know Know, wherever we're going to be, you know, in plenty of time to. And sometimes Chuck is there as well. Every once in a while, he doesn't come as much as right, he used to. Right, but sometimes. Yeah, once in a while. Right, right, good. All right, well, thank you so much for coming back again. Of course. Anytime. You're always welcome here. Anytime. 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 You're welcome here. As far as you guys go, thank you so much for staying up late and watching Tales from the Crypt and Kathy Coleman and my silly face and her <laughs> not so silly face because uh, you could been watching Saturday Night Live or something like that. Instead, he stayed with us. So for that reason, we love you and we will see you next week. So, uh, Kathy, you know, I'm thinking this Point of Vallarta trip, you know, if you don't want to go, would you maybe go if I went? No. No.